Hell yeah, we got a wheelie going by. I was not planning on this, but sure, why not? Yeah, we'll just go from there because he's gonna call in a bit. Okay, so we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk today about basically stuff where people think I'm an asshole. So if you come with me real quick, I'm currently stuck on the side of the road because I decided to go off roading slightly, and I'm about to snap the tire, which you're not gonna be able to see on camera. But well, I don't know, maybe. So we're gonna talk about the difference between excuses and actual reasons why you can't do something. So, well actually, just in case the truck falls, I don't wanna get under there. So there's a ball joint down here that holds the bottom of the tire on because there's two ball joints. There's one on the top, there's one on the bottom. And the fact of the matter is, is that the bottom one is about to snap. And I know it's about to snap because I've snapped it before. <laughs> um. I was going off-road over here a little bit, just stopping for lunch, and the thing is, is that when I was coming down, I hit, I don't know, a little mud piece or whatever, and the whole truck bogged down, and I heard this snapping noise, and I knew for a second that that was the same ball joint that was going to snap again. So from there, came down onto the road, came on the road, and the, the steering wheel started to move started to move like this and what ended up happening is last time I snapped the joint the steering wheel started to move for me to keep it straight it got to a certain spot and it dropped the whole truck buckled and fell forward why am I making this video because I have a job to get to so I have a job to get to in 50 minutes and I now have my buddy who's actually holding for like the third time because people keep calling me while I'm trying to film this I have a client in now instead of 50 minutes we're at 40 for 47 minutes away, I have a client to get to in Milford. So I called a buddy of mine. A buddy of mine is here to pick me up. This truck is now getting picked up to be driven to a shop to get worked on. Beyond that, I was hungry, so I wanted to stop for food, so I ordered food to have it delivered here. The reason I'm making the video is that there is so many people that constantly make excuses for why they're not successful or why they don't do such and such. This is a great excuse. And then most people would think this was a reason, but a reason is something where you truly can't do something. I can't run if my leg is broken. That's a reason. But an excuse is that I'm tired. Or an excuse is that I don't feel like running today. An excuse to not go to my job today is that my fucking tire's about to fall off my truck and I'm on the side of the road. These are excuses. They are not reasons to not live your life and not be successful and not do the things of which you want to do. These are not reasons. This is why there's a handful of winners in the world. There's a whole lot of losers. And the fact of the matter is, is that people use excuses to not be successful in every area of their life. I can't tell you how many people call out for, for me on employees that I've had throughout my years because, I don't know, their, their iPad died in the field so they had to go home. Why the fuck do you have to go home? Go to the store. Get a cord. Fill in your cord. Oh, is there a guy like driving here for... Yeah, we have like street street bikes and dirt bikes and fucking quad driving by. I come here and ride sometimes. But literally, go to the store and get a cord. Get a cord. And... Oh, is he coming? Oh, he's spinning down there? Damn it, it'd be cool if he drove by. But, um... I'm gonna zoom in and that way I think it's Yeah, no, that's fine. But no, the point is, is that like everybody makes excuses for things and the fact of the matter is, is that this would just be an excuse and this is a real world example of me being stuck on the side of the road, which is what I talk about in some of the videos here, because the reason that like some people want to know like, oh, how are you, how are you moving so fast in such and such direction or how have you come from living on a Porsche fucking, I think it was four and a half, two, four and a half years ago. How did you come from living on a porch there and now you're can buy whatever the fuck you want. Why can you do this? Why can you do that? Hell yeah, we got a wheelie going by. I was not planning on this, but sure, why not?
Nice. No, that's cool. But anyways, um, people ask why, and, and this is why. This is why, plain and simple, this is why. Because I talk about just be willing to do whatever it takes to reach your goals. If you have a goal, just any obstacle that comes your way, okay, cool, fix it. I was hungry, so I was gonna be late if, if you come in to pick me up. We were then gonna stop at a place. Well, instead of stopping at a place, why don't I just order the food and have it delivered here, which is exactly what we're waiting for and probably why the phone is gonna cut out again. So this is a super quick video, but this is like a real world example. This is not a fucking reason to not go to work. I can get an Uber if you weren't available. I would set this up for the for the towing company to come pick this up, bring it to wherever the fuck it's gotta be brought to, get an Uber, now I drive, uh, drive. Now I get driven in an Uber to my client's house and I get dropped off. And then I get an Uber going home. If anything, that shows dedication to the client. The problem is you people don't have dedication to your goals. This is not in it a reason, it is an excuse. Learn to know the difference and just give yourself the dedication that you're looking for and go get what you fucking want. I'm done with the video, you can fucking freeze it. Shut up. That's the last little piece of this video. Thank you very much for my man picking me up. Um, practice what you preach. We are driving, following the truck right now. I think you guys just saw it, but we are following the truck right now and uh, I'm not even gonna be able to get to the appointment on time, but I'm gonna contact the client, let them know that I am on my way. And now I have another story, not an excuse, but another story to tell a client for rapport and show them my dedication to making sure that their family are taken care of properly. Done. Don't put me on your level. I am not like you, I'm not gonna set a buddy bag. I don't write tag.